What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Assassination Classroom. Today we are doing Season 1, Episodes 9 and 10. The first one is called Transfer Student Time. Very excited about these special ability classmates that are coming in to do the assassination, hopefully correctly. I don't know. Very excited to find out what happens. The next episode is called L and R Time, which is normally R and L. No, rest and re it's R and R. So I don't know what L and R could stand for. I, I know R&D, Research and Development. Very curious, very excited. If you guys are excited as well, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon if you guys want up to four episodes or one week early access. Full uncut as well. Everything over there is in the description down below. Make sure you guys check that out. Let's hop right on into this. Assassination Classroom, Episode 9, Transfer Student Time. Let's do it. All right, so the school trip little mini arc is all done. We are back to normal. You're right. This is not normal. Fair point. Try not to make a big deal out of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're just assuming it's an assassin student. That's hilarious. Oh, that's the new student. Oh, okay. Interesting. Is she a, like a VTuber? Is this VTubing before VTubing was a thing? That's, that's literally it's the only thing that could be a monitor, right? Yeah. She's a VTuber. Autonomous and I am flabbergasted. They just keep shocking me, keep surprising me. Is this what Karasuma mean when, meant when he said uh let's not make a big deal out of it? Okay. This is uh quite interesting to say the least. Its name is fixed artillery, so where would the cannons or the artillery or the guns or the Okay, it's also a transformer. Four shotguns, two machine guns. So she's an AI that absorbs or takes in information and, yeah, recalculating that gathers new info and then recreates a strategy. This should be exciting, but also <laughs> just not what I was expecting at all. I love how they do the slow-mo and stuff like this. So it is, he, he thought, assumed it would be the same exact scenario, same pattern as before, but what? Ended up being different with this one because we're already making some improvements. Right behind it. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> but that's a steady, it's, it's only going to get exponential each time, you know? Three times is all she needs for 90%. I gotta turn it down a little bit. This attack phase is going crazy. It's an honest to god killer. Auto evolving fixed artillery. Imagine that with actual bullets or anything else. There, you're right. I didn't even think about it like that. I always think about it in sort of a kid, childish kind of way, just because we're in a classroom, it's BBs, but fair point. It can't get out its guns. Yeah? That's technically not harming you, right? I don't know what the details of the, the violations of the contract would be, you know? It wasn't. Mm. Right? You didn't expect you to make enemies of the students, did you? They dropped considerably, so what changes are we going to do? Immediate countermeasures. That is the first thing a, a transfer student has to do, to be honest. True. Literally zero upside. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Given some little upgrades. Little RAM upgrades. Some new apps. Assassination with classmates. You can do simulations with your classmates already in there. You can have them be, you know, involved in the assassination. I, I like that. That's kind of cool. <laughs> We're helping a computer. Like what? Oh, 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 oh. 
Interesting. This is not what I was expecting at all. The night and dayness from her completely monotonous to this now is just so different. Like I said, night and day. She's like an actual person now. So do we have a name for her yet? Are we still going to call her the Fixed Artillery Unit or what? <laughs> okay, relax. Arasaka, I didn't even know his name. <laughs> oh, and it rains and stuff. She has the little weather adapter for how she's feeling. Sunny and rainy. That's funny. Okay, we're already making progress. So now the kids are encouraged to work with her, get to know her. Proper student out of a machine. And make a detailed diagram of the eye. Look at the retina. <laughs> no cheating, Miss Miss Fix Artillery Union. You can make little figures and sculptures. She's a 3D printer inside of her. Tell her to make me some some for the background. She's doing. She's having multiple conversations, creating sculptures, playing chess, and absorbing information. <laughs> now she's eating into my popularity. Shut up, Koro. Okay, just taking parts of it. This, that, and the other. Ritsu. Okay. Our new classmate who is a sent assassin named Ritsu. Seems like an actual cool girl. I mean, cool computer now. Yeah. Which is so interesting. What is the masters? What do they think? I like the way they're animating this, how she feels, you know, she's in like that pose, like uncomfortable and they're removing anything unnecessary, you know, for assassination. That's crazy. I see their monetary gain from this. I see why they're being as greedy as they are. I just was not expecting all this. See? I'm going to start getting attached to Ritsu. You start fucking with her, the rest of the kids are going to... See, I already miss her. I was shocked when we had normal Ritsu. Now I, now I miss her. It was she was able to finally get info on the flowers. That's cool. And those are awesome looking flowers. Poro made 985 improvements. Most of them irrelevant. So even though he decided this unnecessary, we decided it necessary. Nice. So <laughs> nice. Subarashi. Okay, Ritsu going rogue. <laughs> yeah. My own free will. Rogue Ritsu out here. Narune. Technically, she is in her rebellious phase. You know, I was. we've all been there. Now there are 27. I do like we have an updated number. And with the new one, we're going to have 28. 27 students. That's crazy. Oh, my Lord. Yes, yes, yes. So we have an after credit scene, which looks like a parody of a movie trailer. Okay, Ninja Warrior. Sonic Ninja. Is this Koro Sensei in a movie? I would watch that, but what? <laughs> she made that? That was a fire trailer. That was the end of the episode? I want to watch that movie now. Sonic Ninja. All right, on to episode 10. This one's called L and R Time.
everyday chit chat. Her doing her American or English accent is so funny to me. LNR time. Is that what this episode is going to be about? English language? Uh, I've been doing my LNRs wrong, Miss Serena. Excuse me. Fair point. But I think you would be proud of that. Thankfully, she was able to get a finger in there. That was really quick reactions and thinking. Seeing you play teacher? Oh, who is this? Her higher up. <laughs> Lovro. Okay, skilled killer. Real quick, you guys, I, I don't mean to be weird. In the dub of that scene, when they wanted to switch, did they switch to Japanese or did they just kept speaking English the whole time? I just, I'm curious. Answer me that. She was just talking about how, yeah, how she needs to kill Koro. She's upset. She's stressed. Wow, I get what he's saying. She's an undercover ace, you know, but she's not like full jack of all trades like he is. Mmm, the thing you're gonna struggle with. Your L and your R. Let's hold a kill off. Lovro versus Arena? Coral's helping the girl out? Hover kills Mr. Karasuma. He's like, wait, what? I'm just I'm just a dude. Right. <laughs> Alright, I love little tests and stuff like this. Especially when it's not your typical test. Like this is an assassination test. Love it. Yeah, it seems like he's doing it for his own purposes, but no, I think he's doing it for you. Good, I hope you do. You must be thirsty. Like this is her typical covert <laughs> undercover play, you know. Come on, it's it's delicious. I put titty milk in there. It's uh, I mean uh, poison. I mean uh, water. I mean uh. <laughs> <laughs> My idiot apprentice. He really plays into her uh, the card she has quite heavy. I like it. Yeah, what if what if Karasuma wins? Then then what happens? Then I'd give you a chance. For what? Yeah, what do you mean? One full guaranteed second? That's like a year in Koro time. Okay, so now Karasuma's motivated as well. I like this. I like this. Okay. This is this is fucking dope. Now Karasuma's involved too. It's he feels inspired to dodge them while they're inspired to yeah. Koro's just being Koro the whole time, teaching them. Okay, Lovro comes in immediately. Okay, great defense, great reactions. Oh, stops the knee. I thought he went through with it. That was a cool that stance. I know. <laughs> That's five stabs in one second. Damn. Koro, this might be the end of you. I like how he, he's pretty blunt, you know, pretty upfront about it. Like, I know, straight up, I'm not going to be able to kill you. I've always been a huge fan of anime assassins ever since Hunter x Hunter. You know, if you know the assassins on that show, you know. All right, she's going for it. I don't up up front. <laughs> like what is gonna? I know. Is she just gonna go straight to melee work, or what is she gonna do? See now. Normally he could be like, yeah. He could agree and go along with it, but a second and the chance to kill Koro in 10 billion yen is not, is way more, what? He's going for it? 
国語を克服した彼女は未経験だった教師の仕事すら臆せず挑んで克服しました。That's what she's an expert in. <laughs> これはこれは what has she been doing? Okay, snare trap. Immediately has him in the leg crossover. So, what are we gonna do? Gotta give him the puppy dog eyes just for a second. The hesitation is that gonna work? No. Shouts <laughs> out Arena, shouts out Karasuma. He would have been a man of his word, but I, I get what Karasuma's saying. They are inspired most definitely by Arena. I, I agree with that. I like that. Like he said, she's not the best assassin, but she's the perfect assassin for this job of being a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, random ass Lovro episode. Way to pop in and be cool as fuck. <laughs> we wouldn't have anyone else but her. The big, titty, dumb, blonde. Hell yeah. <laughs> I told you, he's an octopus of his word. He <laughs> had the armor. That's so cheap. You just can't do anything to him. Hell yeah, I'm trying to see that. I need Sonic Ninja in the in the MCU. I need his own solo movie right now. Ritsu wants to come too. I mean, she was the one with the trailer. Hey, we got her on the phone now. Mobile Ritsu. <laughs> That's a little OD, but she's dope for that. And literally, Mobile Ritsu. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just have to make sure your acceleration is relatively slow. You can go really fast. Just don't start going too... Oh my god, that would be so fucking cool. Oh my god. And I love how the time zones are different. It's already night. Because Japan would be like 16, 20 hours ahead of Hawaii, something like that. <laughs> Shouts out, Arena. Shouts out, Unagisa and Karma's English abilities. He can make little mouse at the end of it to make little headphones and he already has fucking concessions. Oh my, that would be a great time watching a movie, Sonic Ninja going to Hawaii to watch a movie. You're saying that you would kill me. What's with this? Even if you knew who I really was. What's with these dubs? My brother? My brother? Always gotta be the lady's brother. Or somebody's dad. No, 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 no. Right? Let's just enjoy it. I'm like Nagisa. I know people like Karma and Ritsu as well. <laughs> no, I'm like Koro, to be honest. <laughs> oh, is he swatting all bugs and everything else? Dust particles. Going at that speed, I, I didn't even think of anything like that. Nimura, is this the other transfer student? Ooh. So he is the other transfer student, but what do you mean by big brother? Like, were they both experimenting on in some fucking... Some fucking Stranger Things type shit? What kind of ending is that? I'm kind of hyped. Okay, brother. All right. Overall, super fun episodes. I'm loving the individual character lessons and the morals that we're uh, teaching not only the class, but us, the audience as well. Like, shouts out Arena and Lovro. I love how uh, their rivalry and... That competition led to her not only getting a little confidence boost, but being, you know, re retold, you know, she's great at what she does and she's a great teacher and she's amazing. So shouts out her, shouts out Mr. Karasuma, shouts out Koro for being an amazing teacher. 
taking uh, Nagi Sun Karma to the movies in Hawaii to see Sonic Ninja. It's so super dope. But we got little brother magnifying glass. I'm, I, I don't know his name. I'm just going to call him that because he can apparently see Coral going that speed. So I'm assuming they were experimented on like some white room classroom of the elite type shit. How are they brothers? How did they have... I need to know more. The other guy who's like, yeah, that's your brother. And he will be your teacher starting tomorrow. That guy looks like he's straight up out of fucking Jujutsu Kaisen or something. So I'm super excited. I need to know what I... Oh, great episodes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. I also really enjoy Ritsu. Really enjoying her as a character as well. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for up to one week or four episodes. Early access, full uncut, all that jazz. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.